common core strand for our most grooviest teachers. And then our essential question is how do we multiply integers? Okay, so if you are uh, a teacher um, and if you get a chance, you guys, and you have some extra time, before I do this lesson, I'd, I'd spend some time on, um, on page 34, that are you ready? And it's just reviewing some multiplication skills, okay? And uh, just, just have them practice that. Um, uh, and it's, they're always a positive times a positive. And I'll show you some tricks in this lesson how to multiply you know, like two digit numbers with one digit numbers and so on. So there's some, there are some tricks I'll show you in just a bit, you guys. Oops, sorry, I'm petting my, my dog Lucy right here. So uh, Lucy, I found in front of my classroom uh, a year and a half ago on a cold January morning at six o'clock in the morning. And so, <laughs> so we brought her home and fell in love with her. So anyway, um, anyway, so uh, multiplying integers using a number line. We can use a number line to see what happens when we multiply a positive number times a negative number. Okay, so here we go. So Henry made three withdrawals. That means uh, less money when he takes out money. Uh, $2 each from his savings account. What is the change in his balance? Okay, not the change like spare change, but how much did his balance change? Okay, so we're going to find since he did three of them, three times negative two. Okay, so so to graph a, a negative 2, we start at 0 and move 2 units to the left. Okay, so let's do that. All right, but first, let's do uh, 3 of those, you guys. So 3 times negative 2 would be, is the same as negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 2. Okay, so to graph 3 times negative 2, we start at 0 and move 2 units to the left 3 times. Okay, so here we go. 1, 2, 3. 3, okay? There's 3 times negative 2. The result is negative 6. Now let's answer the question. Negative 6 what? Okay, so the change in Henry's bank account is less $6. Okay, so minus $6. Okay, try to always answer the questions in the context of the problem. If you just said negative 6 and it was a word problem like this, then uh, you didn't quite answer it. So just always be aware that um, uh, you might have to uh, go back and make sure you know what, what your answer is and with the problem. All right, so Lisa plays a video game in which she loses points. So she loses three points two times. So what's her score? So here it's two times negative three. So that means uh, two times negative three is going to be negative three plus negative three. Okay, so on a number line, we just go negative three and then add negative three right there. So all I'm doing is here start at zero, we go to the left three because it's negative, and then go to the left three again because it's negative. So um, it ends at negative six also. So two times negative three is also negative six. So she has a score of minus six, okay, um, on her video game, something like that. So what did you notice about the product of two integers that had different signs? Okay, the product was always negative and is the opposite of what the product would be if they were both positive. Okay, and we'll find out later in this lesson if they're both negative also. We'll find out a negative times a negative is actually a positive, so I'll show you that. So counters uh, represent positive and negative numbers can also help us understand how to find products of two negative integers, okay? So here we'll do a negative times a negative. So let's find the product of negative 3 and negative 4. So let's write negative 3 times negative 4 as, and I'm going to put this right here. Here's my negative 3, which is this negative 3. This negative is the same as saying the opposite. Okay, so we can say the opposite of 3 times negative 4. Okay, so, so it's going to be the opposite of 3 times negative 4. So let's first do um, uh, counters to represent 3 times negative 4, okay, which is the same as 3 groups of negative 4. Okay, so notice those are negative counters, okay. So here is, here is 3 groups of negative 4 counters. Here's negative four counters, one group, two groups, three groups. So here's three of negative four counters. Okay, let me slide that up. Okay, three groups of negative four, and we'll slide that up. Okay, so let's make the same model using positive counters to find the opposite, because the opposite of negative is positive. So I'm going to change those to yellow. Okay, and what's that mean? Okay, so there, the opposite of three groups of negative four is that right there, and those are positive. So how many are there? There's 12 of them, you guys. Okay, so uh, to translate the model into a mathematical expression right here, you guys, negative three times negative four 
is this expression right here. Okay, here's 3 times negative 4, but here's negative 3 times negative 4. So negative 3 times negative 4 is 12. So to go up here to the original question, find the product of negative 3 to n negative 4. The product of negative 3 and negative 4, that's the same thing right there, is just 12 right there. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, so what did you notice about the signs of the products of two negative integers? They were positive, okay? So it was a positive answer. Negative 3 times negative 4 gave us negative 12. Number 2 says, what can you conclude about the sign of the product of two integers with the same sign? Well, okay, for the first one, we did this, and that was on that page 34, if you guys did that. If both integers are positive, then the product is positive. And we just found out if, if both integers are negative, then the product is also negative. So what can we conclude if they have the same sign? Well, if they have the same sign, then the product is always going to be positive. Okay, so the product of a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative is always positive. Okay, so multiplying integers, the product of two integers with opposite signs is negative. The product of two integers with the same sign is positive. Okay, this one's an easy one. The product of any number and zero is always zero. And the product of any number and one is always whatever that number is. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply. And I'll show you a trick. If you don't know what 13 times 3 is, I'll show you a slick little trick. Okay, so notice here we have a positive times a negative. So they're different signs, so the answer is going to be a negative. So since they have different signs or opposite signs, the product is negative. So first find 13 times 3 and just make that a negative answer right there. Okay, so here's 13 times 3, okay? So I'm going to change 13 to 10 plus 3. Because 10 is nice to multiply with, and 3 times 3 is 9. That's easy enough, okay? So I'm just changing 13 to 10 plus 3. So I don't have to, you know, manipulate that and, you know, bog you down. Watch this, you guys, and then distribute that. We're going to distribute this 3 through. So 3 times 10 is 30, okay? And then I'll go, lastly, 3 times 3 is 9. And we'll put this plus sign right here. So a plus sign goes right here. 3 times 3 is 9, and 30 plus 9 is 39. Okay, so that means 13 times negative 3 is negative 39, okay, because it's a positive times a negative. Okay, multiply negative 5 times negative 8, okay. Now remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So negative 5 times negative 8 is going to be the same as 5 times 8, okay, and 5 times 8 is 40, so negative 5 times negative 8 is, is also 40. Okay, multiply negative 10 times 0. Any number times 0 is 0, so negative 10 times 0 is 0. Oops, I forgot an extra parenthesis right there. Shame on me. All right, so, uh, okay, so compare the rules for finding the product of a number in 0 and finding the sum of a number in 0. Okay, well, the product of a number in 0, I'm sorry, let's do the sum first. The sum of a number in 0 is always that number. 10 plus 0 equals 10. The product of a number in 0 is always 0. 10 times 0 equals 0. Okay, all right, so, all right, let's find each product. Okay, so remember, if they have the same sign, then they're they're positive. If they have different signs, then they're negative. Ooh, I forgot another parenthesis right there. And golly, whoops, you're going to see the answer. Ah, that's okay. We'll get to that. Okay, so here, a negative times a positive, negative. A negative times a negative, positive. Zero, zero. Positive, positive, positive. Okay, all right, so 3 times 5 is 15, so this one's going to be negative 15, okay? And then, uh, whoops, you see this one also. So negative times a negative is a positive. 10 times 2 is 20, so negative 10 times negative 2 is 20. This one's 0. 8 times 4, 32, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you're having a good start of the school year, and, uh, and be good to your teachers. Take care, you guys.